Think of your favorite restaurant. It consists of living things like the servers, customers, and cooks, along with non-living items such as plates, cups, and decorations. It's a community of living and non-living things at a common location, and each restaurant has its own unique personality. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science, and what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is similar to a restaurant. It's a community of living factors called biotic factors and non-living factors called abiotic factors interacting and living together. This desert is an ecosystem. This forest is an ecosystem. This pond can be considered an ecosystem. And even this rotting log can be an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a community of living and non-living objects living together in a particular area. Let's look at a cartoon example. In this ecosystem, you have the biotic factors, which include the hawk, the bear, the fish, and all the other living organisms, along with the abiotic factors, such as the water, the amount of sunlight, and the temperature. All of these factors interact in order to make a community. Ecosystems come in a large variety of sizes. It can exist in a smaller area, such as a decaying tree trunk or a pond, or it can exist in large forms, such as an entire rainforest. Two major types of uh, ecosystems are terrestrial and aquatic. A terrestrial ecosystem is a land-based community of organisms and the interactions of biotic and abiotic components in a given area. An example would be this deciduous forest. An aquatic ecosystem is water-based, much like this lake, river, or coral reef. A small ecosystem, like this rotting log, is called a micro-ecosystem. A medium-sized ecosystem, like a large lake, is a meso-ecosystem, and a biome is a large group of ecosystems that share the same climate and have similar plants and animals. Common examples include the rainforest, desert, or a deciduous forest. There we go. What is an ecosystem? And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to somebody today.